What's up everybody? Sky Spider here, Magic Veteran and Queen of Tarantulas. I've uh, been away for a little while, I needed a break from the camera, but uh, we are back and I am about to play a Modern League with one of the most fun decks I've seen in Modern in a long time. Um, I love White Weenie decks, I love token decks. Uh, Black-White tokens was a thing in Modern way back, but uh, we're finally seeing a version of it that's successful again. Uh, Force of Virtue is kind of written off as the garbage card of Modern Masters. Or, uh, God, what the fuck was the name of that set? Modern Horizons. Um, and actually, it ended up being the thing that made this archetype possible. So, um, this is basically the deck I'm running. Uh, if you want to go to the little link on the scroll you can do down there, you'll get the full deck list. And I'll keep updating it in case my build changes. Uh, the only thing I can say that's really changeable here... If you want to run Snowlands to bluff people, it's not the worst idea right now. There's a lot of snow decks in the format. But it's such a minor amount that it makes any difference that I'm just going to play the, the basics I want to play. I really just don't, don't see it as that big of a benefit. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can play an event here. Modern... Our Magic Online has been crashing on me a lot today. So, uh, oh wow, I'm Hayashi. One of the Merfolk players is up at the top. But yeah, let's hope we can do this. Uh, last time I tried to record, I got, um, oh god, what's the name of the deck? It's, it's that stupid combo deck that makes it so I can't lose and then draws the whole deck, and I can't think of the name. Ad Nauseam. I had to play against four Ad Nauseam decks in five rounds. How is that possible? Like, I get that the deck now exists in the metagame again, but to that extent, that seems a little, little extreme. So hopefully we'll have at most one of those this time, because that led to a very boring recording. Wow, I figured there'd be more people playing today. It's only 8 o'clock. Wow, I'm not used to sitting in the queue this long. This is weird. Okay, hopefully we got a good match here. Let's see. I've got a couple one drops and one planes, but this hand doesn't really go anywhere. This is kind of the hand I normally throw back. Oh, the signal pass weren't my original idea. I saw most people are running those now uh, on the build, and it seems like a really great addition. My opponent's either doing a uh, Twitch intro or having a really hard time deciding if they're going to mulligan. Yeah, I'm definitely throwing this hand back if it's not obvious. Okay, they mulligan to six. Let's go ahead and do the same. This is much more playable. Probably throw back one of the land here. So I can pitch a Force of Virtue to a Force of Virtue. Normally I wait until I've already got one of these out. And then I'll start pitching my other Legion's Landings I draw. Guess you forgot to plug her laptop back in. Yeah, this might be someone's first tournament, I'm judging by the looks of it. I'm going to keep the silent clearing in case I flood out. It gives me a way to draw a card later. But honestly, this deck doesn't have much of a hard time uh, keeping its life total up. Most other decks have a lot of trouble dealing with the amount of creatures I throw into play. Yep, 
Yeah, it looks like I've got a really slow opponent here. Oh, God. So now five out of my last six modern games have been this matchup. Getting a little sick of having to play against it. Um, I'm probably going to lose game one. Uh, this deck, I've seen it win on turn two or three a couple times. And just my deck needs four turns to win. Uh, but I do have sideboard for it. Okay, Cavern of Souls is throwing me off. Because Ad Nauseam doesn't really run creatures. Giant. Okay, this is just a deck in the wild. So we're just playing against a brew, I guess. A giant tribal. Okay, or it's Amulet Titan. I think I'm going to drop out a Force of Virtue already. Never a bad idea to get one into play quick. Probably should have held that until after attacking, but honestly, it's such a minor thing. And unfortunately, this one's a sorcery, but whatever. And you can see the lifelink off the vampires negates the silent clearing pretty well. I've never had one be that big of a hindrance unless that's the only lands I draw. Trying to win when you only have two of those in play is not very easy. So I've got six power in play on two turns. It's not bad. And, I mean, it's, it's about to go up again on my turn. By the way, the Vigilance on this card is really what takes it over the top. Oh yeah, this is just Amulet Titan. I didn't think he was a giant, though. Oh, we have a Karn. I swear to God, if you get ensnaring bridge. I fucking hate ensnaring bridge. They're already down to two cards in hand. Oh, so this is probably Scape Shift Titan then. Engineered explosives, yep. I'm surprised you're not casting it for zero right now. Save myself a life here. This feels like it's going to be a longer game than I wanted. Signal Pest does not have haste, unfortunately. Man, I should really take out Karn before they can get Ensnaring Bridge out of their deck. I'm going to go ahead and play Signal Pest. So when they pop the explosives, I've still got something that can attack. Uh, thanks to the Force of Virtue, this is a 1-2. I'm just going to auto-react to this Amulet of Vigor because it's a pain in the ass. Oh no, my gather that Townstroke is gone. Yep, explosives on zero. Yep, and 
we have to lock. But they're still taking one at least. It's not for nothing. I'm going to go ahead and draw a card off of that. See if I can get something. Okay. It's not nothing. Since I can't make a token with a Danto this turn, I'll just throw out the other intangible virtue. That way when I do get tokens, which shouldn't be that far away, we get some size on them. See if they remember the order to put these in. Yep. So I'm going to be surprised if Primeval Titan is giant. I was pretty sure it was a Titan, but... Or like an Avatar or something you don't see very often. But I could definitely be wrong on that. It's not like I play the card very much. Not legal in my main format. And one more green on the cavern. Summoner's Pact, okay. So they think they can win this turn. Yeah, Primeval Titan. Grab two lands that will untap. Probably the one that gives it haste. It's a Boros land, I don't remember what it's called though. Can you guys tell I don't really play modern all that much? Like, I only know the metagame because I watch Nikachu stream religiously. Like, I like the format and all, but... I don't know. The games end way too fast, usually, for me. I like grindier games. You get in, like, Pioneer, Pauper, and Commander. Wow, this is a really slow player. I've never gone to time with this stack. This might be the first time I'm able to do it. Oh god, they were waiting to just pass priority? I thought they were digging for the lands that whole time. my sideboard while I'm waiting. Leyline of Sanctity can de definitely do something to turn off the uh, Valkuts if that's their main path to victory. And the path to exiles, I'm thinking. There's an argument for the Sundering Growths just to kill the Amulet of Vigor, but I don't think it makes that big of a difference against them. So yeah, now they really are taking a long time to go through their deck. Man, they've used five and a half minutes more than me now. My skink, Gunter, is climbing around next to me. Depending on how the tournament goes, I might get Gunter out in a little while and put her on camera. She's pretty chill for just hanging out on my shoulder while I play. Hi, Gunts. Okay. Not used to seeing Hanrear Battlements, it's usually the other one I mentioned. But hey, if it works. Yep, it's got haste. You can get two more lands now. I don't 
have like any mountains? If you didn't have trample, I could beat you so easily right now. Oh yeah. Okay, it is a giant. Okay, they're going for the field of the dead one. Trying to beat me with tokens. So rude. Oh yeah, I have to take damage, don't I? I'll take three more turns of just the Titan. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. That's why those lands are good. Unless this is what you draw. Well, I am probably bone this game. I could not afford to just flood out like that. Even if my opponent's fairly new to this. You're one mana short. Damn, I was hoping they would forget the one mana and just pass through. Getting a little greedy here, okay. Ah, there we go. Yep, now everything's a mountain. Well, the game just wants to list swap. Oh, there goes my signal pest. I'm just going to yield through the turn. I don't have anything to do. Let them use up their timer. I'm going to take 10 on the swing minimum. Possibly more. Oh yeah, 12. Plus whatever two lands they bring in. So yeah, this is lethal. Yeah, you can't afford to flood against a fast deck like this. But yeah, I'll let them use up their timer since that's what they they want to do here. Gunter, what are you doing? Hi. She's acting like she wants to come out. I can't bring you out yet. Choose blockers. You're real funny, Magic. Okay, so sideboard time. Definitely want Path to Exile. Definitely want Ley Line. Hmm. I think Voriac Champion would be a good idea with all those zombies they're planning on making. I think a couple's not a bad idea. Venerated Loxagon just feels really slow in this matchup. Like, it's good in most matchups, but not here. Gunter, I'll get you out in a little bit, sweetie. She really likes attention. Lose one of each of those. That looks good to me. Then if we win this next one and I decide I need the Sundering Gross, I can always add them. Okay, Gunter really wants out. I'm going to grab her. Gunter. You want to come be on camera? Sweetheart.
for you. This is Gunter. She's a pink tongue skink. She's adorable. There you go, babe. Are you sniffing me? I hear you. So yeah, she'll probably just chill on my shoulder. If she gets antsy, I'll have to put her back. Why am I not surprised they're a little slow to sideboard too? Like I get being new to things, but there is a practice area where you can like get to know your deck before you go into a tournament like this. Four land is a lot. Ah, oh, but the cards are so good. No, it's just not fast enough. This is better. This is definitely better. What the hell do I throw back, though? I want to keep the ley line, both lands. I'm torn between the signal pest and the spectral procession. I think I'm going to throw back the signal pest because the flying has a lot of value in this match. I mean, it does mean I don't have a turn one play, but small cost. She's still showing up on camera there. I was not expecting that. Play the Auric Champion. I think I hold off a couple turns on that. Get the Virtue out. And then if I can't play Spectral Procession, I'll go for the Champion. It's important to start getting damage in. You having fun, goods? You want to watch my computer? Is that it? Pink tongue skinks are really smart, by the way. She's basically like a miniature blue tongue skink. So the dryad's a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I can't swing in with anything yet, so I'll play the spectral. Remember what I said about getting two of those? Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. They're probably going to start hitting that Valakut stuff pretty soon. It's going to cost like four or five to activate, right? Four. not climb down my back again, Gunther. I don't have anyone here to grab you this time. So assuming things go along the path they're on right now, I should be able to swing for six on my turn. Knock them down to 12, which should leave me in a decent position here. And then if they're bold enough to swing in with this guy, I'm not above blocking it with multiple things. I don't have an amulet, so what are they bouncing? Mm -hmm. 
Kissing the castle? Like most Amulet Titan players will mulligan until they get an amulet and their opener guaranteed. Just pop over to my other camera view while we're waiting. Yay, I've got a little skink on me. She's adorable. So they bounce the Teleria West. Which it gives them a tutor for something, but it also comes into play tap, so I'm not sure how bad they need that tutor. Oh yeah, he gives them the second blue anyway, so yeah, they can use it. Let's go ahead with what I've already planned. Oh yeah, that thing's got reach. God, that's a keyword you always forget on that thing. Oh well, still got four damage there. I don't know why I wouldn't put these two stacked on each other again. Like you have to attack with them to get them to stack again, which is a weird glitch. But Magic Online is known for its weird glitches. Five mana. Probably bounce the gemstone mine. No. Oh, okay, they're using the five mana for that. That makes sense. So here's our first... I thought it'd be the Titan. Okay. Summon Respect. Yep. Oh. So much for my Ley Line. God, they're using the Terrible Art one too. Oh well, it costs them a turn of doing something. That's nice. Unfortunately, I can't get it into play yet. I don't know if I want more servos or the champion. I think I want the champion. Since I'm stuck with all these silent clearings. So we got the one blocked with the reach guy. Then I'll pitch the Servo Exhibitions, the Force of Virtue, at the end of their turn. By the way, it's so amusing to me that this little skink wanted so badly to come out. Like rubbing her face on the screen and grabbing at it, making all kinds of noise that she'd know I would hear. Just to come out and sit on my shoulder. Not even to go anywhere, just to watch. She saw me sitting at the computer and wanted to come join in. Which I love. She's a fucking cutie. Need to tap the breeding pool as well. Or do you? No, it's only four to activate. They need two green. Which they have, okay. I don't know why they're hesitating then. There we go. Cast the Primeval Titan. God, they're way out of sequence. Oh, great, I think. Yep, there's Zoidberg. Pardon me for a moment, I have to put Gunter away. Uh, 
Charity. Sorry, Zoidberg doesn't take no for an answer, and he's not allowed to be around Gunter because he might hurt her. And the life gain begins. Hey, Zoidberg, you want to be on camera again? Go grab your land. Man, they've used 10 minutes more than me now. That is just nuts. Okay. You have two Valcut triggers. You're probably going to kill two of my flyers. Or will you direct them at me? Because you're afraid I might have another ley line. Nope. They're going up. Okay, different flyers. Just thought it was the same one for a second. Would have been nice to have that misclick. Hmm, so now I can't get through anymore. I don't want to keep the servo exhibition at this point. I think I want the first force of virtue because at least I can kill the creature with reach. Let's just hope I stop drawing these and actually get some gas this game. I cannot afford to flood out again. Hi, Zoidberg. You coming up? Hello. Come on up, buddy. Hello. And we're going to do this again. Well, while we wait for that to go wrong, it's kitty dance time. Hi, Zoidberg. He's a sweetie. Oh, don't lick my fresh tattoo, sweetie. Got healing ink on my arm. We're redoing my sleeve. Turns out, uh, realistic nature scenes don't heal well over long periods of time. And all my bugs are faded. I really don't know how I'm going to get past what they've got right now. Like, I'm going to try, obviously. Another prime time. Well, that's not good. So yeah, I'm up Shit Creek. I couldn't afford to flood this game, and I've been flooding this game. So both games. Pasuba is going to be another Val cut. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. At least they don't have a way to give that other one haste, I don't think. Are they all coming at me? Oh yeah, that's enough to kill me. Yep, you can't flood out against this deck. Yeah, two more cards to get to something useful. Oh well, it's just one game. Hopefully we will have some better luck going forward. And at least it wasn't that stupid ad nauseum deck again. Seriously, what's even going on in the metagame to put me up against four of the damn things in one event? Like, if anyone has any idea what the fuck was up with that, please leave a comment about it. Because I am fucking baffled. Gunter's staring at me angrily because I put her back. 
Yeah, that's your fault. You could have stayed on the bed and stayed warm upstairs. God, I hope that adorable yawn picked up on the mic. Man, long wait times for matches today. Just no one want to play magic on, what is it, a Tuesday? Tuesday evening? No one's working still. Yeah, this is a very playable hand. So they're going first. They mulliganed, I'm keeping. Don't like that, Zoidberg. I know you like the taste of lotion and all. Okay, this might be Infect, maybe? I don't know who's playing Basic Forest in the Noble Hierarch, other than Infect. So no turn one play for me. So one of those rare moments where having the snow-covered land might be good. Oh yeah, it's in fact. So I can use the silent clearings to my heart's content this game. Okay, we're going to do something really mean. We're going to play that at instant speed, and that at instant speed, and kill their Glistener Elf, hopefully. They probably got some kind of combat trick, but if they don't, it's going to be really, really bad for them. Yeah, I think they're swinging in on an empty battlefield, too. Trying to figure out what I'm going to pitch. It's probably going to be the Gather the Townsfolk, honestly. You know, all the time I've been playing this deck now, I've never gotten to five or less life when I had that card. Oh yeah, they had pump spells. Oh well. Go ahead and drop it here. I'll let their exalted resolve. You know, just because. I will definitely block that. There's the bad one. That's the one I can't block. The Force of Virtue is not bad. We just have much further to go to get to where they are. Now, do I hold up my soldier for blocking? That's the question. One infect is a really big difference. Well, if they just swing the Blighted Agent, they're going to get the one off the Noble Hierarch anyway. So I might as well get some damage in. It sucks you can only pitch a card for that on your opponent's turns. Yep. So here comes six in fact. Eight, in fact. Got any more? Of course you do. You really should have just paid the life. Can't block it, so that's game. Oh, in fact, it's so obvious why everyone hates you. You don't matter. Path isn't really going to do that much, surprisingly. Jeez, there's not a lot in my sideboard that I can do here. 
Well, Damping Sphere can actually do something because it really limits their ability to play multiple pump spells in one turn. Again, the Loxodon is way too slow. I find myself siding this out a lot of games. I know some people are high on it, but I don't know. Uh, we've got plenty to do here, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I really like the Damping Sphere. Let's see if they're going to mulligan here. Nope. What sucks, I'm going to take my turn two off instead of playing creatures like I want to. I have to play the damn Damping Sphere. Makes me wonder if I should just pitch the Gather the Townsfolk to Force of Virtue. Honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just hope I don't flood and I can draw into it more uh, token makers. There's something. But again, I can't play it this turn. Don't really need it yet, but I'd rather play it while I have an opening. At least I'm still getting some damage through. Spell Sky, interesting. I like that art. It's like a little robot spider. Okay, so we drew well. It's what I was looking for. And I can't play them in the same turn because of my damping screw. Good job, Jade. Well, we're going to attack with three creatures next turn. So I'll go ahead and play the landing next turn. Then that way we'll get a flip out of it. And there's the Blighted Ancient again. By the way, I skipped the path to Exiles against this deck because, um, number one, Spell Skype, but they've also got the uh, Pump Spell that uh, gives the creature Hexproof. So Path to Exile doesn't really do a lot against it, in fact. Yeah, let's go ahead and flip the landing. You can always yield to the battle cry. So one of them is going to get blocked by the spell skite. I'm going to pop my silent clearing at the end of their turn. Actually, no, I'm going to make another vampire. That makes more sense. Trying to go as fast as they are, so I gotta be efficient here. I know Zoidberg. Infect is a nightmare of mass. Hi, are you coming back? He's a dork. Do do do, it's a Zoidberg. Hi, buddy. Why don't you sit down and relax? So we got 5-5 five, five Hexproof. Yeah, that also does Shroud. Yes. That's not good. Yeah, I can't do anything against the stack. They, they did a number on me. So I burn off the desk. You know better. Yep, I can't do shit. Say, Levy. Well, it's a bad start to this event. Two O and twos. Let's see if I can redeem myself here. I 
But there's no excuse that round. I actually had really good draws in game two. So it was just down to the fact they had better draws. Game one, or round one was totally bad draws. Or we flooded both times. We could have won if we kept going. Still getting the stink eye from Gunter. I love you, Gunter. Sorry, I had to put you back. She's like chilling on her log that's right next to my computer desk, staring at me. Let it be known. Lizards can hold a grudge. They definitely can. Problem is, uh... The pink one keeps coming back and wanting up in my lap. Instead of going back into the bedroom and sleeping on the bed like he normally does. It's probably because he hears me talking so much. He thinks there's company over and he's got someone to play with. Hey, we can finally join a match again. I think he's bitching because he wants to find someone else here. Okay, I won the die roll for a change. Three land, bunch of good cards. Let's keep that. This is a halfway decent hand. Madden Legend. Well, someone thinks awfully highly of their game playing skills. I'm narcissistic too sometimes. But I also know not to put it in my screen screen name. What? What do you want? Oh, thought sees. This might be uh, Death's Shadow, I'm thinking. It's already going down to 16 on turn one. They left me with the instant speed one. That's interesting. Again, this will never let me play five. It just doesn't happen. And I got one back anyway. Come on, brain. You're better than that. That would have been an epic derp if I played my instant speed one right there. Yeah, this definitely has to be Death Shadow. wonder if this is the version that runs Gurmag and Angler. It's the Dark Confidant. Okay. They already know what's in my hand, so there's no sense hiding that. Probably should have let them do the last damage to themselves here. But uh, they're going to already do that with a Dark Confidant. Let's just make sure they're a little lower. Sorry for Zoidberg yelling. He's a butt. So take three. For a card that doesn't do anything against me. Go ahead and make me sacrifice a creature. I got lots more. Oh, and they're stuck on two land as well. That's not good. Oh, one land short. Would have loved to drop that during combat. Oh, they're just giving it to me. Okay. Works for me. Marty and Carvio. So I've learned Auric Champ and just shuts their deck down. Path isn't bad, and Rest in Peace is pretty good too. Lockstone actually kind of works in this matchup. Just a little. I'm always down for pulling one of each of those, because they don't work so well in large numbers for me. can lose the servos. Two loxodons. And one more card. Try 
trying to think. Did they, do they have access to Maelstrom Pulse? I don't think they do. They can't do Detention Sphere. They do have Plague Engineer, though. I'm going to pull Lingering Souls. Uh, I'm doing that because Spirit and Spirit. It's the only doubling of the creature token types that I have. All the others make totally different things. So it gets around those kind of cards. But uh, they're probably going to play Plague Engineer against me. Which honestly doesn't do a ton. Okay, two lands, a bunch of pump, uh, a bunch of token makers. I'll keep. Uh, they cannot ruin this hand through a thought seize. Okay, so they're going to go to 15 to thought seize me. Oh no, they're staying high. Interesting. If they're smart, they'll take one of my token makers. They did not pick right. Because you want me to have less creatures. Like, that's the key to slowing this deck down. Okay, I love this. Oh, there's the art. About to say this alternate art swamp. Okay, since I'm looking at enough land to cast this for its cost, I'm just going to wait until then. Um, I'll hold the raise the alarm until the end of my turn. Or end of their turn, I mean. Zoidberg, no one cares about your problem. God, he's weird. Oh, Lightning Skelemental. Discards two cards? That's harsh. Okay, change of plans then. Probably gonna have to discard the two land. Or the Force of Virtue in a land? Yeah, I think that's the better play. That definitely hurt, though. I've heard about this version of Death Shadow. I haven't played against it yet. Get that out of my hand before they can make me discard it. They're being real conservative with their life this game. I think they're trying to force me to bring them down. I would wait, but knowing they have stuff like this, I can't. Oh god, that's horrible. Fuck me. I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna have to take it all. That really sucks. And discard my hand, so hopefully I don't draw land on my turn. Watch me draw my only 4-drop card. God, I hope they don't have another Unearth in hand. They probably do, though. And we got a land again. Do I need to just cut lands out of this deck? It's so nice to see someone spend a lightning bolt on a creature. Or on a token, I mean. Another one. I'm definitely getting in on the card advantage here. 
I'm gonna bluff with the planes if I can. Maybe I can get him to spend a thought seize and cost him two life. Seasoned Pyromancer. I always forget what this does. Okay, so it's three creatures. They didn't discard any cards. Okay. Croxa. Well, that's not good. Because I only have a land to discard. So that's painful. Yeah, this is just not my league. Yep, there we go. Just drawing nothing but land at the end. And more land. So yeah, they got this. What are you doing to me today, Dak? I still think I'm going to post this video because it's important for people to see even the pros can lose sometimes. We don't always go 5-0 every time we play. I think it's important for people to see that, rather than just see people win all the time. Oh god, I'm going to end up discarding another land, and then they're going to swing for two. Yeah, that did it. I mean, I would have played the land that time if I could have, but I already played one. Okay, what are we doing here? Am I changing any of this? Need to be faster. Putting the servos back in. You know what? These would be good against the discard spells. So keeping my hand full, which is why I should employ the Force of Virtues, I'm thinking. For some reason I was thinking I lost game one. You know, because I've been losing so much today. Yeah, that's a no-lander. A one-lander, yay! Just what I always wanted. That's set. If I get a land, it becomes an amazing hand. So fuck it, I'm gonna keep it. Plus I've got a one-drop. So, fingers crossed, my deck's been flooding me so far in this event. Let's see if it'll do the same. Put back, excuse me, put back one of the Legion's landings. That was unexpected. And do I get thought seized here? Surprisingly, no. Land. Yes! Oh my god! This hand just became amazing. I do not want to lose both of these. I'd ideally like to get them both in play. I love my little Ahsoka Tano lookalike. If you're a Star Wars fan like me, you totally see it. My paper one is altered to look like her, the one I play in my commander deck. If I had my deck close enough to reach, I'd show you. Croxa, okay. Always yes, always yield. And I'll yield to him sacking himself. Now, what the fuck do I discard? Do I lose the other Auric champion here? I'm gonna lose the Spectral Procession. No, god damn it. Fucking tough call on that one.
Plague Engineer can totally take out my champion if I'm not careful. Oh, we got more land. It's a good play to Spectral Procession here. But I want to make sure Kroxa does not make our return performance here. Let's see if I can get another auto concede out of that. Their hasty creatures have trample, so she'd only block one damage anyway. Might as well get in for one, I'm thinking. In case anyone's wondering why I did that. Next turn, we'll hit the Spectral Procession and hopefully kick some booty. So they've got a discard spell. I'm hoping it's Inquisition. Just don't forget this technically has a CMC of 6. Yep, there's a Lightning Skelemental, which is going to cost me my Spectral Procession. Really glad I played the Rest in Peace now. Because also, this can't be reanimated so easily. And that really blew. But at least that thing's gone for fucking good. Oh, thank god it's not a land again. Okay, they're tapped out. I'm gonna go ahead and swing with both of my creatures. It's time to make some new friends. Literally. Back to 20. Oric Champion is so fucking good in this deck. Like, I would honestly consider putting her in the main deck. That's how good I think the card is. Oh, great. Here we go. They're going to name the Auric Champion, so Human, which also nabs those two tokens. Called it. So that's really bad. Because I can't even swing into that motherfucker now. Well, that's something. At least I can keep attacking. I don't think one land's going to make that much of a difference with them. And then I might pop the Silent Clearing at the end of their turn to draw a card. I haven't seen any Death Shadows yet. Maybe this version doesn't play it. It definitely feels like Death Shadow, though. Like the way it drains its own life so quickly. And Rakdos just being normally Death Shadow. Okay, you can actually make me sack a creature this time. Now I definitely need to draw a card off the Silent Clearing. And it's a land. Don't be a second land. Motherfucker. <sighs> well, what are you gonna do? I think what I'm gonna do is remove at least one land from this build. Because it's just biting me in the ass. She's gonna make me discard the other one, though. See what they're going to discard. Oh, you didn't even ask me. Discard Inquisition of Kozilek, okay. What you got? Looks like a lot of nothing over there. They probably have a bunch of dead cards in their hand. I 
Okay, this is very good. Let's go with the servo exhibition first. Just on the off chance I get knocked down to five. So Lily can't make me sack this turn, I don't believe. Well, she could. Lost to fetch land. Probably out of basics at this point anyway. I have a few more blood crypts though. What do we got? Another lightning skill elemental? Is that two red and a black, I think? Yeah, two red and a black. Wow! I am down with that being wasted. Oh my god. So I just two for one them. Which I'm okay with, although they're getting a lot of value off Lily. Fucking land. Last thing I need right now. Shelter is at six. I just need to keep her from getting to six. Ugh. This guy again. Got a croaks to go with it. Nope, season pyromancer. One card left in hand, they're discarding it. It's another land. So we're both empty handed, but they're in a better position than me. planning to do on my upkeep. Nothing, but my deck's planning on giving me more and more land. Because of course it is. I swear next round I'm sideboarding out some land. Because this is frustrating. Yeah, that seems pretty good. It was really good, actually. Let's see if they're going to get by without activating Lily, because they want to keep the cards. That would be good for me. Hmm. Okay. Can live with that. It's something. Because I got nothing. Got a second removal again. Let's see if they minus Lily. Yes, okay, so they're not going to get to their ultimate this game, it looks like. Hi, Zoidberg. You want to come back up? Come on up. So needy. Oh, well, nothing else to do with the mana. Might as well. Spend four mana for an extra point of damage. It's like we're playing sealed or something. See, still not five life. It's never gonna happen. How many have I played this game? One, two, three, okay. I've played all four of them. I mean, you can minus your Lily again, I don't mind that. Oh. 
ley line of the void. Yeah, it seems a little unneeded. So that's like a lightning bolt right now. At least he's getting exiled. Can I afford the two? I think I have to take the two to have any chance in this game. Okay, that's something. Like, I have to attack my opponent or I'm just completely out of this game. If I just see your chump blocking, I'm not going to do anything. Especially with them able to draw two cards a turn now. Hi, Zoeberg. What's up? Come over here. And sit down in my lap. Yeah, then you can stop bitching. I will not discard a card. I will play some creatures. You can discard a card, though. Haha, Lily works against you. Probably didn't want to play a Dark Confident right now, anyway. Oh, great. You know, I did this whole big thing about saying that card doesn't really affect my deck, and then it's been affecting my deck this game. Fucking Plague Engineer, man. Why did they print it? Because it, like, fucking killed all the tribal strategies that were really fun. Okay, well, now I can't attack on my turn unless I can remove at least one of them. You really didn't need to do that. Because I'm going to draw a land, I bet. Let's see if I'm right. Land. You're very, very, very late. Fuck it, I'm still playing it. Yeah, my deck just showed up out of sequence this game. Oh well. As I said earlier, you can't win every event you play in. Oh, even if I do block one, the castle will kill me. Fuck you, Plague Engineer. There you go. Wow. Would have finally got into my pump things. Which would have helped with that plague engineer. So we are 0 and 3. Yikes. Can I at least win my last two matches and save some face here. Like I get 0 and 5s happen. They, they definitely happen. I, I, I've gotten my fair share over 25 years in this damn game. But they definitely sting. Definitely sting. At least Gunter's not giving me the side eye anymore. So wait, Berg, come over here. I can't climb on your cat tree with you. He's a fucking dork. Zoidberg, quit yelling and come here. Yeah, Zoidberg. Come on, buddy. I promise you won't have to dance this time. You can just come over here and lay down. He likes the dancing, though. Okay, I promise you I will make you dance this time. Sometimes I wonder if having Zoidberg on camera is more entertaining than the games. That 
think I can keep this. Got a turn one play, can play at instant speed, got my turn three drop. So we can curve out pretty nicely here. I've also got lots of black mana in case I draw lingering souls. Or I can just play all the concealed courtyards in my deck. Oh, I just noticed the Argle avatar up there. It means they've won an event. Not often you see people bounce shock lands. I'm not sure what I'm playing against yet. I'm going to hold the raise the alarm until they're in step like usual. I do think I'm going to play all three of these in a row. Just because it amuses me that I drew three of them like that. And I don't need the silent clearing yet. Although this will probably turn into card draw. And this will probably turn into creature buff. Oh, that hurts. So this is hate bears of some kind. I haven't seen hate bears in forever. Okay, we got this guy. Oh, why didn't I play that in response to the Thalia? That was a gigantic derp. Yeah, that was really dumb. Good job, Jade. I'm just going to gather the townsfolk and pass. That was a hardcore derp on my side. That hopefully won't cost me the game, but there's a good chance it could. Oh, so much stuff that's hard to swing into. It just looks like a Silesnia value deck. Or a lands matter kind of deck. I'm just gonna yield to the courser. I beat one of these in my event yesterday where I took on all the ad nauseum decks. So I know I can win. Yeah, Zoid Burke, I can win it. Do you agree? No? Okay, we're going to be playing a Lockstone in a second, too. There we go. Everything gets bigger. I've got flyers. Let's do this. I'm sorry Zoidberg is being a pain in the ass today. I love you, but you're being a pain in the ass. Okay, yeah, this is just lands matter. Bajukabog doesn't matter. See if they start swinging here. I don't see that happening at all. I brought in Rest in Peace against this deck last time and it didn't really do much. I don't think I'm going to bother with it this game either. Steve. Nice, more flyers. I like flyers. Dude, I hear you. I think I'm going to swing with the Loxodon as well. Because even if they double block, I can get rid of something. They'll probably just chump with Steve. But whatever. It's going to take 
four mana. And I can't flash it back because it'll cost three mana. Just double checking, yeah, it costs three mana. All right, Soyper, come here. Hi, you made it. Now sit your ass down so I can focus on getting yeah, fucking left again. Hi, up here, dumbass. I love you, you little dumbass, but oh my god. Getting all kinds of headbutts now. Hey. You're such a pain in the butt, but you're adorable. Is that purr coming up on the mic at all? Leave me a comment if you got this far and you hear him purring. I'm really curious. And it's Steve. Ouchie, we gotta cut your toenails again. So I've got one land in the graveyard for this guy. Such an odd card that got printed. It's like they're powering one drops up. Hi. What's up? For a planes card, okay. Doesn't have to be a basic. I thought it had to be a basic. Putting something else on the stack. Okay, he's got enough to pump up now. Oh, we got a vowel cut. Oh, why does that land ruin everything? Oh, and there's a Field of the Dead on top of the deck. At least they're about to shuffle again. That said, they're about to snipe another one of my spirits out of the air. And gain more life. Such a frustrating deck to play against. Because you can't really stop lands. Like, this deck would definitely fall to like a blood moon. Oh god, what creature are you going to drag out of the deck? Corsair, maybe? Turn those into gain two life every time? That's what I'm guessing. That, that's totally what I would do in their position. Fierce Empath. Interesting. Crater Hoof, maybe? My body. No combat, though. That's a great draw. Because I can play it during combat. And fuck up their math. Maybe I can take out that Bellower with my Loxodon if I am careful. Can I take out anything else? Maybe Thalia. I'm going to lose some things there. Don't lick that tattoo. Stop. Fuck it, we're going to swing everything since we're about to pump and it's going to screw up all their math. Plus it'll hopefully make some stuff survive the Corsair and the Dryad if they block any of my tutus.
Yeah, and don't forget this card has flash. How are you blocking? Oh. Now he's going to block a 1 1, isn't she? That is really hurting me over here. I am really slowed down from that. Otherwise I'd be using the Adanto every time. Or flashing back my Lingering Souls. Hopefully I can flash that back before they get another uh, Bajuka Bog. I don't know if they play more than one or not. Kill a Spirit. No, target me. Interesting. Of course, Primeval Titan. Grabbing two more Val Cuts, I'm guessing. Vesuva, which will be a Val Cut. Yep, so three Val Cuts. That probably does me in, I'm guessing. Six times three is 18, so that'll knock me down to three, and then they can swing for the win. Stupid Volcut, man. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for that, uh, that Dryad guy. Just yielding through the turn, I know they've got the win. Would have been fine on the crack pack if they hadn't uh, gotten a double vault cut there. Oh, they're not even going to attack. They're just going to use the fetch land to do it. Show off. Was that my game one? Holy shit. Leyline seems to be good for Volcut wins. Maybe this guy for when I stall. I didn't really stall that game though. Three more cards. I think I need all my Force of Virtues. Plague Engineer in there, I don't think. Wait, I don't even remember putting Gideon in. And I guess I'll take out a land. Keep saying I'm going to do it. And they probably have Path to Exile in there, though I don't know why they would use it against me. Warland is so many. It's a good curve though. As long as they don't get Thalia. Just hope for no early game Thalia. I kept my little dude off this for pretty much the whole game last game, didn't I? That's pretty cool. It's neat when he sticks around. Getting my super villain on here, petting a hairless cat while I play. While sitting in a nice leather recliner. Rob recliner, office chair. Hey, that works. I 
I know there's also arguments to be made for playing out the tokens before that. But um, both directions you can go with that play have their have their value. Since I'm working with a lifelink creature, I see more value in going that route and being able to get the extra swing in. Because it's going to take several turns before that thing gets up to a 3-4, I think. Three, four, it's up to. Yeah. Hmm, they are thinking hard about this one. they not draw land? It seems odd with that deck. I can't see that deck ever getting mana screwed. Because I think they play like 25 land or something. Oh, by the way, if you want this deck list, little scrolly McDo on the bottom, it's already up on tapped out. Aether Vial. I'll end a field of the dead. But yeah, maybe you can do better with it than I'm doing today. I've definitely done better with it on many occasions. It just always seems whenever I go to film myself, that's when I do the worst. Say la vie, right? And since there's no Thalia, we will go straight into the Flyers. Which should bode well for me, I hope. Let them use their timer on their Aether Vial. I'm up by four minutes, though. My deck's not really that complex in comparison. That's another thing about this deck. I love the simplicity. I also love the blast zone can't kill my tokens. Ah, fucking Dryad. This card, man. You made Valakut bad. Valakut was always annoying, but at least you had to work for it. And my kitty has left me. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the Loxodon after combat. Possibly play a ton more tokens, too. As you notice, I can't swing in with the vampire after they hit three mana. Which is one of the reasons why I went that path I did on the early turn. We may get yells from the kitty again. Yeah, I'm just going to empty my hand here. I'm putting the last one on the servo because it's less likely to be plague engineered on the off chance they play it. So Tide is looking pretty good in my favor right now. Let's see what they're able to do here. Like this could always blow up my intangible virtue, but it's going to take two turns. Because they need to put counters on and then they need to pop it and do both tap. Okay, we got a tireless tracker. A land and some life. We're up to five lands. I think if they were in a better position, they would have made that Vesuva another field of the dead. But I see the value of Radiant Fountain. 
Should I play that card in Popper? Zombiebird, what are you doing? Just watching Gunter walk around. Oh, I can pump all my dudes. Okay, time to do some complicated math. Yeah, I can win even without the Chef at Dunes, but I'm going to throw it in just to be safe. I actually remember that was sorcery speed only this time. I always forget that normally. Soidberg, please stop. Have they done the math that this is lethal yet, or do they have a way out of it? I know, right? I'm actually going to win a game. Yay, they finally did the math. So I'm pretty happy with my sideboarding choice, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the next game. Now that they've seen my deck actually kicking their ass, they might be changing up their sideboard. It's been a very weird event for me. As I said, off camera I have no trouble with this deck just today. And the ad nauseum day. Two land, I've got a one drop, I've got pump spells, I've got token makers, I'm good. This is very keepable. Let me guess, you're going to play the 1 2 first turn again. No. I know you're there because you keep leaving. Like, I love this addition of signal pests to the deck, but I almost never get to see them work. The rare times I get them, they're killed almost immediately. The fuck are you this time? There you are. Hi. You can definitely come back up here, Zoidberg. Just how about staying for a change? Hi. Are you coming? Fucking Thalia. Oh, there goes my turn to play. Hi, buddy. Come sit down. Stop bothering me. You can see that little tail whipping around next to me. Here, I think I know what he wants. He's weeper. Oh, he thinks I'm going to feed him. Yeah. Yeah, he eats at 11 o'clock. It's 10. He can fucking wait. I thought he wanted his blanket. We have a special blanket just for him. Soidberg. Come get your blanket. Oh man, they're just getting the nuts draw now. really want to keep intangible virtue, but I feel like I need to get that force out. Yeah, my best bet is to play the intangible virtue, I'm thinking, or play out the force of virtue discarding the intangible. Zoidberg!
So that way, I'm, at least I'm not losing a turn here. Like I'm doing something. Another signal passed. Can't cast it because I need to pay for extra for these. Um, I'll save it for instant speed. Hopefully I won't botch that this time. So I burp. Come here, buddy. Zoidberg. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Zoidberg. Come on. Come on. Get your booty up here. Come on. There you go. Hey, look. Blanket. This is what happens when you have a hairless cat. You have to always have a blanket nearby. There we go. Now he's kind of happy, it looks like. Are you going to lay down? Or are you just going to distract me more? Damn, they're able to pop that. Hoping they'd forget to play a land and I could get a surprise block in here. You know what? I might just double block. God, then they're gonna be able to sack two of them. Or kill both of them. Or do I double block the Thalia? I think I double block the Thalia to be honest. She's honestly what's going to keep me from winning this game. Are you happy now? Looks like a little Sith Lord with his head tucked in. Okay, at least that way I only lost one. Still not a, a great situation, but it's good to have Thalia out of here. Oh, now you show up. Oh, it might be worth casting, to be honest. And not until I see the Val cut. I'm going to spend my mana, mana on other stuff this turn. Hold it for next turn, potentially. Just always yield to the battle cry. So neither one of them can be killed by the Reclaimer as they currently stand. Oh! I stand very corrected. First time I've seen someone play Force of Vigor in Modern. Kind of surprised it took this long. Well, I'm still going to get a 2-1. So I can take out the Reclaimer. What are they exile? Another Elvish Reclaimer? Okay. And they're not going to block. Are you going to take your damage? There you go. It's nice to not have to take a damage because Thalia was there. And like, I was just thinking it sucks that I got two for one on this, but they also had to exile a card. Hmm. That's probably going to kill my other signal pest, isn't it? See what I meant? I never really get to use these guys. Like, all the removal goes straight toward them. 
I don't think they're going to need the Valkut to kill me this time at the rate things are going. Yeah, I can't kill him, so I have to take the four. Well, that blows. That's a thing, though. Watch, I'm going to keep the ley line in hand, and I won't have it in play when I need it. There's no point in not attacking, because they're vigilant. I might lose one to the Knight of Autumn, but... Not too big a deal. Steve doing what Steve does. I might have to pop that silent clearing at the end of their turn. I definitely think I need to block that tireless tracker this game. Wow, not even letting stuff resolve, just keep going. I don't know a white mana there. Field of the Dead, I'm guessing. Called it. Yeah, I'm in a very bad place now. This has just not been my league at all. And they've got two mana, so they can pop a clue, so double blocking does nothing. Unfortunately, I do have to block, period. Well, that is not what I wanted to see. Oh my god, so I see it twice. That is game, then. There's no way out of that for me. No reason to attack. I'd rather block with it. If I attack, the zombie will just eat it. I have to be able to block that tireless tracker just to get another turn. Not that another turn is going to matter that much for me. Wow, I didn't realize they were so low on time. Like they're about to go into the red over there. Oh, there's the bow cut. Will I die to it in one turn? They're looking for their little combo piece to go with it, I think. Will they find the Dryad? No, they find Golos. Jesus Christ, I didn't even know he was in there. Extra Field of the Dead. 3-5. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just dead to all the zombies at this point. What the fuck? They're doing tokens better than I am. Totally should have double blocked the tireless tracker, it's starting to look like. It was the right call in the moment. But, uh. Yeah, the way the cards have aligned. Jesus Christ, deck. And this is with the land removed. And yes, I'm aware I can just concede, but fuck it. Let's watch them have some fun. I'll just yield to their turn. They'll probably just move straight to attack. Yep. Jeez, 0 and 4. What the fuck? Can we get one win today? By the way, he's completely shut up since I gave him the blanket. That's totally what he wanted. I found him some stray fabric at the uh, craft store that was velvety on one side and like had a texture to it and he really likes the feel of velvet against his uh, his naked little body you comfy Zoidberg? he's like laying only on one of my thighs and nothing else ledge cat Trying to fill time with something since we're just sitting here waiting for long periods on this. And again, as a reminder, even the pros can go 0 and 5. 25 years of experience doesn't mean shit some days if the cards just don't draw right. And my deck has decided to flood all day today. Be nice to have just one really good round. It's a painful draw, but it's got still a lot of good stuff in it. Oh, fuck, this is a tough call. Wow, Lutri. Avatar, I didn't even know that was the thing. Fuck it, I'm keeping it. I can always get colorless out of the Shepet Dunes. Plus, they've mulliganed, so this gives me a little bit of an advantage. Especially since I have to pitch a card to Force of Virtue. Is it just me or does that angel look like she's leading an army of zombies almost? Like looking really hard, I can see the people, but they looked like zombies at first. So they're debating the six cards. I kept six. Oh, it's Tron. I haven't played Tron in a while. How is this hand against Tron? I don't know. I think I'll be losing the intangible virtue here. Uh oh. The green Tron. Isn't that the standard? Ancient stirrings. 
You know, I found out there's a really pretty promo one on here, which I wish I'd see more often. It's got a cat hiding in there. Chromatic sphere. I don't even notice they played this. It makes sense to include. Now they've got two of their lands. They're just missing the tower. There we go. Non-painful mana. I've got just instant speed stuff, so I'm just going to pass the turn. So they get natural Tron. Really suck if they did, but let's find out. More ancient stirrings. Now do they get natural Tron? Yep. This game just got turned up to hard mode since they got seven mana on turn three. Doing strange things with it though. Now is this Eldrazi Tron? Or just Tron Tron? Gunter's giving me the look again. Ooh, I almost forgot that I have a spell to play yet again. Critters keep distracting me. That is a pretty good top deck. I think I play Spectral Procession. Oh, if I played it, I could have done the locks on this turn. Yeah, that was a mistake. Could have optimized the turn a little more. Still, I'm going to play the Spectral Procession, and then next turn hit the Intangible Virtue. Swing in for uh, 15. So in theory... Nope, I can't win next turn. That's not going to be enough. they would have to take one more damage. Got all excited there for a second. Well, let's hope I'm faster than Tron. Because Tron always worries me. Oh, they need green again. It's really weirding me out that they're using so much green mana. Most of them just rely on the colorless most of the game. Or did they want the card out of that? Don't be Ugin. Please don't be Ugin. Okay, it's Karn. I can live with Karn. Karn's not going to wipe my entire board the second he comes out. So I got a Worm Coil Engine. That's pretty bad. Exile my Force of Virtue. Yep. I think I need to take out the Karn when I swing. Since I won't have lethal now. I actually like that a lot. So let's swing two at Corn, and the rest at Kelly. Dude's a little better after that. 
And then we can play Raise the Alarm at Instant Speed. Assuming we don't get Ugand. Which is always a possibility with uh, Tron. So what you got for me? Drawing a card to look for an answer. That bodes pretty well. Did they find an answer? They found a way to dig for another answer. Oof, and they have enough to pop it, don't they? Fuck, I can't even play my thing at end of turn because they're going to wait. Yep, Oblivion Stone will definitely slow me down. draw land because of course that has been the uh, has been the theme of today's league hasn't it wow I don't see other people playing mismatched stuff very often this is why instant speed ones are better Probably obvious, but yep, there's the worm coil. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. deck. Why you do this to me? I could hold it in bluff, but I don't see any reason to against this deck. I do you think I'm about to take six to the face? Because I really want to be able to flip that. I think this is a good example of why I should leave Path to Exile in the main deck. Because I have no way to deal with a Worm Coil Engine normally. Hopefully they don't have a second one in hand. Getting all the lands. Blast zone. I mean, I can't take out my tokens though. Jesus Christ, they had a second one. I'm just conceding this one. It's too far gone and I don't want to fucking play it out. I know what their deck is. I'm good. I want Path to Exile. Probably want Sundering Growth and definitely want Damping Sphere. What do we not want? Take out one of each of those. Take out two of the Loxodons, one Force of Virtue, and a land. Because Obviously. Actually, I want to keep the planes and take out a chef at dunes. Try and keep my life total a little higher. So let's see if we're going to finish this league 0 and 5.
Jesus Christ, I sign Outland and I get a five land opener. It's just not my day. Okay, this is playable at least. I'm going to get rid of the Force of Virtue because I have nothing in hand I'm willing to discard for it. I keep saying discard, you guys know I mean exile. I have a stop on my upkeep for some reason. I'm really hoping these help get a win here. Oh, watch me not get to the third land this time, that'd be funny. I might be a little defeatist now because of how this uh, event has been going. Like, it's really frustrating when you know it's not the deck because you've won a bunch with it. You're just having really bad luck for a day. That said, this stuff normally happens to me when I'm like paying a huge amount of money out of pocket to go to a big event. Oh yeah, and that's going to flip anyway, so I would have hit the three. Yay, I've got an extra land. I think I'm going to go with the Spectral Procession. Save the Lingering Souls a little bit. Hopefully I can get five land in play for when I want to play that. That way I can cast it twice in a turn. I used to run Battle Screech in that spot, but it felt really, really slow and clunky. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to it or not, because I like the fact it's a different creature type and gets around Plague Engineer. Oh boy, they got Natural Tron. Fucking worm coil, man. Can I please get a path to exile out of my deck? Please? It's not a path to exile. It's gonna be hard to keep up with the amount of damage that thing can deal. Well, more so with the amount of life it can gain, I should say. Only black thing my deck does. I do think I'm chump blocking here though. And hopefully they don't have a second one or an Ugin. Ugin's like an auto loss for me. Thankfully there's only one deck running it. And even then, they don't play four copies or anything stupid. I think they run like one or two. thinking over here. Five cards in hand. I'm pretty sure if they had Ugin they would have just gone for it. The fact they're taking this long means I'm in a better position than I think I am. Like if I can keep playing tokens to block this thing and keep more than six spirits in play, maybe get a uh, an anthem for them. Then I've still got a path to victory. Yeah, they needed to draw the card there. So 
they're getting a little worried by what I have got. Sanctum of Ugin. Just not another. God damn it! How did they do that both games? What the shit? Unless I get a Path to Exile, I have no way to win this game. There's a lot of spirits. I also could really use an Anthem, but more of the Path to Exile first. Five creatures out of one card is a lot. Or four creatures, my bad. Looking at that one as I'm talking. So that's 11 spirits now. If I can get some kind of pump spell, like any of my anthems, I could win. Yeah, 11 of them, that's 22. Now they're going up to 24 here. So I have to chump block them both. They're going to gain 12 more life. I need a path and an anthem. It's the only way I'm going to win. Oh god, 11 mana. What the fuck are you doing? Apparently you're not doing that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to kill two on my land. Probably a Danto and Silent Clearing. That's what I do. Okay. Oh, yeah, Chef it would have pumped. They're going to use the Sanctum. Go get a second Ugin just in case. Ulamog, I mean. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Good try, deck. Still fun swinging with 11 spirit tokens. Throw out some blockers. Hey, I might play that when I'm at 5 life this time. Yeah, that's 22 power. And I can block two of them. Lose a third of my deck. I'm actually really curious what cards go over. Lots of land. None of my removal. I did have a second way to get rid of those damn things. Oh god. That is the weirdest use of an Ugin I've ever seen. Or goddamn it, Ulamog. They both start with the U, they're in the same deck. Not my fault. Well, if I had one more land, I could make that work. So that's 18 damage. Hmm. Yeah, I can't even do more damage than the life they're gaining. Yeah, I've got no way to win. Well, 
Do I give it one more turn? Let's give it one more turn. If somehow I can draw some removal for some of that, which will let me live a little longer, maybe I can turn this around. But 20 more cards in my deck are about to be gone. any more removal. There's one path to exile. There's two path to exile. Okay, so I have no more path to victory. We're gonna fight. Because why the fuck not? Right, Zoidberg? Yeah. Make him earn it. And we have a car in the Great Creator, which is getting cast. The fuck are you pulling out of your sideboard? That costs eight mana or less. Oh god, it's gonna be Ugin now. Is it Ugin? It's probably Ugin. Oh, it's Walking Ballista. Still, that's enough to kill four of my tokens. Yeah, this is obnoxious, Soidberg. It's almost like they're rubbing it in at this point. Yeah, I'm just boned. I'll take a peek at the next card, though. At least they're vigilant, that gives me some more blocking time. Getting all kinds of messages. It's my other half, Rachel, texting me. Yep, there goes the rest of my deck. There's no point in blocking. I just die as soon as I go to draw a card. Oh fuck you showing me your hand. Power move. So we went 0-5. It does happen even the pros. What can I say? Oh well. Hope you guys liked watching that. I don't know that I exactly liked playing it, but again, it happens. You have to take your losses with your wins. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave some comments. Send a message to Zoidberg or Gunter, and I'll be happy to pass it along to him. And um, I'll see you guys next time I'm able to stream.